Yeah. Okay, oh, so. I'm not gonna like this. I know, that's why I turned this camera on. Kinda lost Tara, not sure where she is. This is our last few days at Mountain View RV Resort in Creed, Colorado, and we had a blast. Absolute blast. Our friends, Scott and Christina, who have been with us in the last couple of videos, they have to leave, but we're gonna meet back up with them in Angel Fire, New Mexico next. So our friends, Scott and Christina, are all packed up and ready to go. They've ordered three or four weed eaters <laughs> to make sure we don't have good audio. Yeah. yeah. Right? <laughs> We're going to see them again very soon. Yeah, yes. our, ne our next location and two locations away for them. Yeah. Another new yeah. place for us. Angel Fire. And a new place yeah. for us too. Yeah, I'm excited we've never about been. it. Yeah. Let me just say, we had a great time. Oh my we gosh. Were with you guys. We did oh, yeah, too. We Fabulous. Yesterday yes. was amazing. No. Yeah. More adventures to come. Yes. Can't wait. <laughs> 265 is their site. Christina and Scott told us that the drive from the campground to Lake City is fantastic. They said in their top five rides of all rides. Scott and Christina both actually ride, so we trust their recommendation. We think maybe one of the reasons we've never heard of this from you guys or anybody else is because it's in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, Creed's in the middle of nowhere, yeah. Lake City's in the middle of nowhere, and it's, this goes between them. And it's about an hour. We're gonna make a stop at Clear Creek Falls. Something I like believe. that, yeah, yeah. On the way there, it's about a halfway point, so it should be actually a good time for us to wanna pull over and see this waterfall, and then we're gonna get lunch. Okay, oh, so. I'm not gonna like this. I know, that's why I turned this camera on. It's, it's all it's, gravel it's, getting out of here. I don't like that. You guys know I don't like that. I want a helmet though. Oh. <laughs> Just in case, the gravel. It's really packed pretty good, so I don't think it'll be a problem. got about a half a mile away and we had to pull <laughs> over because it was a little bit chillier for us sissy florida people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well it was morning and it was a little bit cooler and so you wanted to put on a sweatshirt it's cooler than i thought it was gonna be as we were pulled over a nice couple stopped to check and see if we were okay because we were on the side of the road you okay oh yeah i decided to put on the sweatshirt <laughs> <laughs> and they said hey we watch you guys we know you guys so dale and esther thank you so much for stopping to check on us and make sure that we are okay. Thank you. Yeah, you Thanks too. For stopping. that we took was basically Colorado 149 all the way there and it's open all year round. It's also known as the Silver Thread Byway. That route is plowed often but can be subject to temporary closure due to poor weather conditions. You know Colorado, if you don't like the weather, just wait half an hour <laughs> and it'll change.
you can find a lot of different waterfalls along the way to Lake like City. Hikes. Yeah, and Scott and Christina said there was really only one that they found that they thought would be easily accessible for us on the motorcycle. So our first destination was to that waterfall and it was North Clear Creek Falls. is maybe about 25 minutes or so from the campground along the way to get to the falls we saw a lot of different dispersed camping areas mm -hmm. and stuff so for boondocking BLM land that kind of thing it's everywhere out there so yeah, be Colorado sure to great. use those resources that we've talked about in the past if you are interested in doing that we'll have a link to a live we did down below really good boondocking resources on there When we were young, we had to see the longest time To our naive tones and the trust in our hopeful eyes For all my days, for all, all my days Now that I got your life The Clear Creek Falls Observation Site offers a new restroom, picnic tables, ample paved parking, and even parking for larger vehicles. And I think that you could have some larger RVs. I don't think that I would want to park our RV there because we take up a lot of the spots, but it is very easily accessible. We made it to Clear Creek Falls. North Clear Creek Falls. Yeah, I guess there must be a south. There are several other waterfalls in this area, yeah. but if you aren't on the motorcycle, you can hike to and stuff. So we're going to walk down here. I think it's a very short little walk, and then we're going to go check out over the hill like the guy told us. Yeah, yeah. We had a guy stop and tell us that even though the falls are right here, we got to go over there. So let's, let's go. I can hear it. it. Sounds like it's right over there somewhere. Hearts like these, oh, in love like this, the stars line in the sky you see. The love of mine, oh, stay the night, as long as the love is left in your eyes. It's for the love of your heart. Let it out, let it out. It's for the love of your heart. Let me it. It's for the love of your heart. The 100 foot waterfall does face east, so if you're a photographer and want to get good shots, you want to get it in the morning versus the evening light. Kind of lost Tara sure where she is. I was gonna go hike this way, but it looks a bit treacherous. So I'm not gonna do that with the uh, motorcycle boots on. I'll go up this hill here. Couple of paths this way. I'm gonna try this. Even though my motorcycle boots aren't exactly hiking shoes, so walking back down might be a challenge. We'll see. See what we got up and over here. Found her. There she is. I got a fire in me. You're gonna set to burn. We got a world to see. And all the time to learn. Oh, wow.
We still had about 25 miles to go from that particular stop off, and this is where some of the steep grades start getting up to the pass. Yeah, I believe like 9% grades in some portions, mm -hmm. so it was really fun, lots of curves, and this is where the ride got really exciting and the views were breathtaking. I mean, the whole ride was awesome. The steeper the climbs and the curvier the curve, mm -hmm. the better it is, right? Oh yeah, you get a good 9% grade, you can really lay on the throttle and get some good, good bra going. Oh. was founded in 1874 and it's actually one of the largest historic districts in the state and it's cool the history there you can towns. feel it yeah. yeah i mean have i said that i want to go back there yet <laughs> the town is so small that in the 2020 census it registered at 438 people i know it's <laughs> actually stayed under 500 people for their population in the last century courtyard out here. It's what? really low. Mind if I sit here? Take it. <laughs> oh, it's bigger than I thought out here. Wow. Yeah. Oh, 
when you go into the bathroom, I want you to take your phone. I want you to film. There's three paintings and they look, they're of people. I think of like the history of this place and it looks like the kind in Scooby-Doo where the eyes would move. Oh no. <laughs> you gotta uh, show them. This, but this is your bathroom? No, it's, on the just way one, to the bathroom. it's just one, it's just... It's on the way? Sex. Uh, oh, okay. We'd love to hear if you stayed in your RV near Lake City, where, how big your RV is. That would be a really great place to stay in the RV. We would love it. Lunch was really, really good. We had a nice conversation with a couple that live here. Mm -hmm. and One I, of the 436 who would live in this town. Yeah. yeah. And he does ghost tours during the summer. Yeah. So check that out. That would probably be pretty cool around here, I would think. Yeah, that would be really cool. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're just gonna drive around. I don't think it'll take us very long. And then we're gonna head back. <laughs> Our last day in Creed, we wanted to get some brunch. We drove out to Antlers Riverside Restaurant. <laughs> it's at the Antlers Lodge. It's about five miles away from the campground where we were staying. Our last full day here in Creed, and we're going for some breakfast. The river's right behind this building, and they have an RV park, and they have cabins, and restaurant, and all that stuff. So we're just gonna go in, get some food, and scope this place out, and then when we're done eating, we'll drive through the RV park and show you guys, because I have no idea if large RVs can fit here or not. Yeah, we it don't know. looks like a cool little park, though. Mm -hmm. um, might be a good alternative to... The expensive one. I mean, I don't know what the prices are here, but it's probably not as, maybe as pricey as some of those private lots, but I'm not sure. Yeah. If you like fishing, the Rio Grande runs right through that lodge property, so there's plenty of fishing opportunities right outside your door.
We found out that this place is open May through the end of September. So if you're interested in coming here, just make sure you, you know, check online and make sure they're going to be open. I also believe that they have a, a monsoon season in the spring. So check into weather too, because it's not always guaranteed that you're going to come here and do some four wheeling and stuff, depending on the time of year. Yeah. <laughs> unless, you want to, unless you're really into mudding. Yeah. Yeah. There's that. But they have some cabins. They have, um, oh, let's go try Let's go drive through the RV park. And yeah. See what yeah that let's go check like. it out. The food was pretty good for breakfast. Yeah. Right on the river. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. It was really pretty. This, I really like the feel of this place so far. So it's Got nice. a good vibe. Yeah. It's definitely more rustic here, but I kind of like that. They have 30 amp and 50 amp. The ones over here, we could go further back. Yeah. You can find us on our way, forever in a new place. Our tomorrow starts today. We're moving so we can't stay. I want to know if any of you have stayed here in your RV. If you have a large RV, let us know. Or after watching this, if you end up coming here, let us know how you like it. Yeah. Because it feels good here. I, I like it. I would stay here. Yeah. So pretty. I mean, look at what you're surrounded by. Yeah. I mean, my goodness. We're going on the hunt for some animals. We're not gonna hunt them, we're just gonna hunt them. We're gonna we're... hunt them but not kill them. Is that, is that a thing? Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> track them down and take pictures. Yeah. And that's what we're gonna do. We hope that we see something because so many people say, oh, when you went on the bachelor loop, did you see a moose? We saw three of them or we Giant saw- Giant bull moose. Oh man, these two moose or like, I don't know. They see all kinds of wildlife. And what have we seen? Chipmunk. We saw some elk on the way back from the Wheeler trip, I think. Yeah. I didn't really know what to expect from Creed, Colorado, but we had so much fun here. Yeah, it's it a was a beautiful location. Oh beautiful man, area. definitely would come back here. There's just so much that we haven't seen, haven't done. If you missed the time when we took uh, Scott and Christina's city Jeep on the Bachelor Loop, go back and watch that so you'll understand a little bit more about this historic trail. Mm -hmm. There are portions where you want four-wheel drive. Yeah, yeah. Our track handled it just fine. It was yeah. a little bit large for my liking on some parts of that trail. <laughs> and it was definitely, definitely a bumpier ride than yes. that city Jeep. I can tell you that hands down. Uh, uh, city Jeep was better. <laughs> How's my elbow oh, tasting, yummy? Oh, good. Thanks for cleaning my elbow. That was really nice, Daisy. Good job. I can just skip that on my next shower. No animals yet, except for this one. The wild <laughs> wolf, this one, yes. Still nothing to report. <laughs> Daisy still has nothing to say. That was a bust. We saw four, maybe six deer. We saw six, six. deer yes. in pairs of two. That's it. And I saw about three chipmunks. Oh, I didn't see any. But I think that this fierce animal that we have scared them all away. Next up on our travels is Angel Fire, New Mexico, again with our friends Scott Christina. And I'm going to tell you something right now. Part of the route, getting in there, scared me to death with the RV behind us. Oh, I can't. 